Welcome to your microblading training video. After greeting the client, present and explain the consent form and if needed, help client to complete. During the consultation, ask client what their expectations are and by explaining differences between techniques, for example by showing pictures of different styles of eyebrows, help the client to make their decision. Correctly prepare yourself and your working stations. Aprons, gloves and face masks are a necessity. If using cloth aprons, make sure they will be replaced after one use and washed at the end of the day. Place pigment options on client's forehead near eyebrow to help them choose shade that best fits their complexion and hair color. Disinfect eyebrows and surrounding skin area well before procedure. If client is wearing makeup, disinfect area twice, making sure to get rid of excess of foundation. Inform the client not to touch eyebrow area. Apply numbing cream on both eyebrows making sure the whole eyebrow area is covered. Let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. One of the most important aspects is drawing the right shape of an eyebrow. Make sure that your station has the necessary tools. A very sharp pencil will give you clear and defined outline. Use razor, not regular sharpener, to sharpen mapping pencil. Thinner the tip, thinner and clearer the drawing will be. We start drawing, having client in lay in position. First step, by using mapping thread, Make vertical lines from tear duct of an eye up. Place the sticker ruler so the lines will show exactly the same number.
move those lines toward nose no more than 2-3 millimeters. That's where the eyebrow will begin. Clean first lines. Make the line along nose corner and inner eye corner. Those lines have to match their numbers too. They will show you where the end of an eyebrow will be. Next step is spreading golden rule between lines marking beginning and end of an eyebrow. Middle leg of the ruler shows you where the arch, the highest point of an eyebrow, will be. Turn over the golden ratio tool and mark an arch on another eyebrow. At that point, we ask client to sit, since all the horizontal lines have to be drawn in sitting position. We are starting by marking where the bottom of an eyebrow will start then where the top of it will be. Height of an arch is the last thing to be applied.
Now we are ready to connect all the points to create shape of an eyebrow. Make sure to clean all unnecessary lines to make drawing clear for client to see. Draw shape of one eyebrow first and show it to client. When shape is accepted, you can proceed to match other eyebrow to first drawing. You are ready to start microblading procedure. After unpacking blade, check if all the needles are in good condition. Place blade in the handle on an angle and supporting it with your finger, tighten the handle. Using a mascara brush, you can check hair direction. Remove hairs outside of drawn shape with razor. Stretch the skin well, well while doing it, not to cause any irritation.
use surgical marker to outline the shape of an eyebrow that will help you stay with the shape during the procedure. Do not dip the whole blade in the pigment. Having pigment only on the tip of the blade allows you to see clearly where you're applying hair strokes. Stretching skin is really important while performing microblading procedure. Eyebrow area is being stretched in segments while you're moving towards the end of it. Blade is being held on an angle of 90 degrees. First strokes that are being created are the skeleton strokes. Make sure that your hair strokes are consistent, hand is steady, and not to rush. After making first row of hair strokes, apply pigment on the area, gently rubbing it in and leave it for 30 seconds to a minute.
wipe it clean. Apply numbing gel. You can start working on another eyebrow.
After wiping numbing gel, you can proceed to fill in space between hair strokes to make eyebrow fuller. The first pass of strokes is light in color. You can go over it with blade one more time, but make sure it's not really deep.
When shapes are filled with hair strokes, apply more pigment on the eyebrow area and let it sit up to two minutes. During that time, go through aftercare with the client. Clean excess of the pigment, revealing final effect that you can show to the client.